want to go to your account. You'll look for purchases and reviews. I'm just covering my orders up, but you'll see next to your orders and you'll be able to click on download file and that is where you find your order. Once you have downloaded your order, you will actually get a download dashboard because Etsy does not allow us to um, upload all of the files because they're too large, so we have to host them somewhere else. But it has all of the links to your products. You get a user guide, and in the user guide, you have screenshots that will also walk you through if you click here where it says download dashboard it will take you back to your first page so we'll click here for the 2024 planner but you do get the 2025 as well and your 2024 starts in the month of august it will take you to an external link i host all of my digital products on WeTransfer, a very safe and secure website and once that is open you will see here your ADHD 2024 planner. We want to go ahead and press download and then we'll press download again. When we look here, we can see that our planner has downloaded. So we'll go ahead and click there. We want to go to the share icon to put it inside of the app of choice. So all of your apps that you have on your device should pop up here, but if not, you can import them directly from your app. But I'm going to put open in good notes. And I want to import this as a new document. And now we can see that our planner has now been imported into GoodNotes. So we'll click on stickers here. And you have the option of the version of the stickers that you want to download. It does come with a sticker book, GoodNotes elements. You also have the individual PNGs in case you are not using GoodNotes. So let's go ahead and start with our GoodNotes sticker book. While that's downloading, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna click on my GoodNotes elements and I'm gonna download this as well. Um, let's go ahead and click here. So we wanna go ahead and click our share icon again and I'm just gonna click on GoodNotes from here and I'm gonna import this as a new document. And now you have your sticker notepad imported. So it will come as a zip file, so you'll need to unzip it just by tapping on it. You can go ahead and go inside and you cannot preview elements either, but whenever you're using GoodNotes Elements, it will end in a dot collection. So you wanna go back into GoodNotes and click on your Elements tab. Once you're on your Elements tab, as you can see, I already have it imported, but I'm gonna show you how to do so. I have a lot of stickers on here. You wanna scroll until you see the plus sign. Once you see the plus sign, it'll say import from. Go ahead and click there. You can click on downloads or wherever your sticker set is. You can locate it. And so we have our minimalistic stickers. We have our productivity realistic stickers as well as our productivity stickers. And you can see it automatically put all of your stickers in. And then you would press create. I'm not gonna press create because I already have them on here. In order to use the hyperlinks, you have to be in reading mode. This is reading mode, it is grayed out. This is editing mode where it is blue. So let's go ahead and click on the green stickers and it's going to take you to your green digital stickers. You can also get to them um, by pressing up here. When you go to the next page, you will see them in their realistic version. One important thing that you need to ensure is that you have your images turned on for your lasso tool. And once that image is turned on, you'll be able to grab it, tap, and press copy. And once I'm here, I can tap and hold and press paste. And then I have my digital sticker in my journal. Now let's see the difference between this sticker and our realistic one. Even though, as you saw, this one does have a shadow, so it does like kind of pop off the page. Let's go ahead and grab, just like we did before, copy, and let's paste it right next to it. So it doesn't show up as well on camera, 
but as you can see it kind of looks like it's being peeled as well as it has more of a paper like um what do you call it paper like texture as well as like a glossy texture if you were actually you can kind of see the glossiness there um if you were actually using a real sticker you can also just tap on it and copy so let's go down here we'll click paste so this is uh, yeah you can see it a little bit better with this one we'll grab the same one here so you can see the difference between the two stickers here to get to your elements you'll go back to your elements tab and let's you just tap on it and there you have it but let's go ahead and do a quick walkthrough so this planner is very special to me because I definitely wanted to make it look realistic. With having ADHD, sometimes what you're looking at can make a big difference in how much you can concentrate on it. So anywhere in your journal, you're going to have this little notepad up here at the top. That actually gets you to this cute little one. So let's say you just have some thoughts or a grocery list or whatever it is, you can put it in here and then um, a lot of apps they sync to your phone and you'll be able to see it when you're out and about unless you're taking your tab. And from this page, you see you have this notebook here that gives you back to your planner. Here's just an example of some of the things you can do with your planner. Let's say you have a dentist appointment. I have a picture of a car there. If I'm working the night shift, want to do a deep clean, bills are due, you have orders, and birthday parties, classes, little reminder stickers. And then if you have a to-do list, you can mark that down here. And as you are working through your to-do list, you can go ahead and tap them or you can if you so choose put a line through it we have this little note section down here where you can just put whatever you need to remember in your note section every page has this little calendar here at the bottom it's actually going to take you to your shortcut you want to click yes it's going to go away and it's going to come back and it'll ask you, do you want to add an event to your Apple calendar, add a new event to your Google calendar, or add a new reminder. Let's say you want to add it to your Apple calendar and you click there and you can add it right here. I'm done here. Now you can pick your day and then we can pick our time and then you click done. I really wanted to keep this planner as simple as possible. I did not want to make it complicated because my whole motto is ADHD is complicated enough. Let's keep our planning nice and simple. I'm gonna put the 12th and then I believe that was, um, just gonna put Fran's birthday. And then I'll put January 12th. And if you want, you can add some stickers here as well. Make it super cute. And you can do that for the whole year as you go along. Your first set is the first six months. When you tap over, you get to the following six months. Up top, you can get to all of your months. So we have March, April, May, June, July, and so forth. And you can get to that from every page. Along the side here is your weeks. So I'll give you an example of what I did for January. Let's click week two, put in some little stickers here as a reminder, um, added um, a line to show which month, I mean, which week it is, along with my weekly task, because we always forget. If these are things like a little task list, and these are, you can put your top priorities, and you can just put one, or you can put um, 10, 15, whatever you need to put. My top priority for that week might be housework. So the dates along the side will get you to each day in the calendar. And then in the calendar where you see the week underneath, 
that's where you can tap to get to that particular week. If you wanna get back to your calendar at any time, you can tap here. If you are in July, it will take July through December, it will actually take you to the one for July through December. It won't take you to the first one. I'm always forgetting my login, so this is a place where you can put your login information. If you have more logins, you can always add a page. In order to add a page, what you'll do is you have these three dots here. You wanna click there and you click copy page. And then you'll click the piece of paper with the plus and you can click paste page. You have your routine planner. We all know with ADHD, we often forget the things that we need to do. So you might not have to do everything on each day. Let's say you only have class three days a week. You can just mark for those three days that you have to do it. You also have your subscription tracker. I don't know about you, but I'm constantly subscribing to stuff and I will forget. I know I'm, sub I know I'm subscribed to like way more than that. And then you have your vision board. I love having a vision board. And then we get to our notes. You have lined, you have a grid, you have dotted, doesn't show up as well on camera. And then you have blank. Each page has adaptable planning on the bottom. You'll tap here and it will close your planner. In order to use the shortcut for the calendar and reminder, you will have to set up your shortcut integration. In your settings, you wanna to go to shortcuts. In shortcuts, you wanna ensure that private sharing is on. Once you finish setting up your shortcut, you do not need to leave private sharing on. You can come back in and turn it off. So we'll click on set up shortcut integration. We'll open this here and it'll say adaptable calendar. We'll say set up shortcut. You can say which app are you using. I have mine set up for good notes, but you can actually pick whichever app that you use. For instance, if you're using Notability, you would click on Notability, and then it says Add Shortcut. Now, I already have mine on here, so I'm just gonna cancel this. If you're using Notability, you wanna long press on New, and then press on Import, and we're going to find it in our file, and then go ahead and press Open. And we are creating this as a new note. Go ahead and import. And now we have it imported into Notability. In order to use your stickers, we're gonna use split screen, locate our stickers, and then you will long press, drag and drop. When you tap on this image, you can make it to the size that you desire. You can also create a new document. You, won't, you don't want a long tap, you just wanna press on it. And we're going to press and hold. And we'll do this with a couple of stickers. So using your lasso tool, you can grab the sticker, tap on it and press copy. Go back into your planner, long press and paste. So now you have your sticker in your journal. So um, I hope this helps and you enjoy your new digital planner.